Goosebumps is rated Y7 because it may be too spooky for kids. Hello, Goosebumps fans. We have someone who actually has something to say. So let's see what he has to say about a certain thing. So we got someone who actually has a Goosebumps theory. Let's hear what you have to say. I do have a Goosebumps theory that Goldie, despite being the youngest sibling out of Slappy, Snappy, Mr. Wood slash Wally, she may have been a dummy created for either a wife or a sister as a gift. And she learns the different powers from their creator and added, dis and added the spells in her diary for safekeeping. According to the Goosebumps Wiki, she can do way more abilities than how her brothers just vomit, teleport, and control people in general. Even crazier, she was much more favor favored by the creator compared to Wally slash Mr. Wood. Which notes, I am not, it's like, this is, he's thinking that Mr. Wood and Wally is the same person. I'm at the point, at the standpoint being like, I now have to believe two versions. That Mr. Wood and Wally is one and the same, and Mr. Wood and Wally are two different people. I'm now in the crossroads. Someday there'll be the real clue of what does that actually mean. But anyways, that probably is why she is called the gold in the Diary of a Dummy book. Because she is mostly special because of how overly powerful she is. And yes, yeah, she did get turned into a rat. So hopefully she will come back in a full book back into a dummy. Okay, so that's interesting. So, if I understand correctly, she is more powerful than her, all her brothers. I'm not going to say something completely crazy, being like, then does that mean Mary Ellen couldn't do this? Ding, 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 ding. It's like, nah, Mary Ellen's like the lowest tier. She can't do anything. <laughs> it's like, yeah, she can't do anything at all. She can't even return. Oh, she can't even show up in the dang movie. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Anyways, you're saying that the creator, aka Franz Mahar, or Darkwell the Magician, I don't know which one. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I don't know which one this is, but let's just go with Franz. So we're basically saying that Franz here actually likes Goldie the best. Even though it's like, yeah, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't know any true magical spells. So that's the messed up part where it's like, I think this is the whole mommy and daddy situation. He's like, yeah, daddy, whoever, actually, or mommy, nah, daddy, he has to be daddy. Yeah, because Franz is just a mom. <laughs> oh, yeah, the daddy in the situation, a.k.a. Uh, Frick, what is it? Can do? Was that his name? It's like I forgot. Sorry, it's been it's been a while since I actually was jogging my memory. So it's Candy or Darkwell the Magician. Either way, we might be saying that Darkwell might a favorite, which is an interesting spinoff. Being hmm, but then it's like yeah. Then the new book. Why is Darkwell actually spending time with Slappy here? It's like yeah. Well, actually. If Slabby was really his favorite, then why in the world he's doing this to in the first place? It's like, yeah, or you'll be gone forever. And it's like, yeah, but Goldie, however, it's like, yeah, Goldie's treated like gold. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no one's going to most likely touch Goldie except for, of course, Slappy. But everyone else, I think, didn't do anything to her or she would already be destroyed or cursed. So that's the interesting crazy this crazy part of this is that someone had to teach her all those spells her diary apparently is all her spells which slappy stole again why would slappy have to do that if considering in slappy world he's now all powerful it's like technically he doesn't even need the diary because he's already getting more powerful you don't even need diary man <laughs> <laughs> unless that's the only way how he was able to do the spell at the end of the book then it's like oh okay but I'm like yeah but wasn't he able to do that in Son of Slappy anyways though I think it was different no that's different I'm 
pretty sure is different. Yeah, someone's gonna have to spell check me on that one. It's like, yeah, it's like, don't have anything without, it's like, I'm not knocking anyone, I'm just saying, what's the mind control issue with Son of Slappy and Diary of the Dummy? I know I'm spoilers, but I'm just saying, is there something different, or are those the same exact thing? Because if those are the same exact everything, then it's like, oh, well, he doesn't need a diary for that. He already did do that in the most wanted. I uh, think that's everything. Let me just check to make sure. Like, Let me just reread to make sure. So you say that she is the most favorited of them and that she might have been created for either a wife or a sister. So... <clears throat> I guess you could say that the owner of the house then that she's in might have actually belonged to whoever actually had her. That kind of makes sense, right? So, it's like I can't really think of it that Franz Mahar here has this idea. It's like Franz Mahar has a sister and why didn't we hear about it? Or Franz Mahar has a wife, why didn't we hear about it? I kind of have to lean towards Dark Will or Can Do has a sister. And it's like, okay, that makes sense because the horrors in that house, it makes sense that it's a witch that lived in that house. And Franz doesn't have that. I don't have to believe that Franz actually does that. I don't think he, he has it in him and he's very capable and cunning, but I don't have, I can't believe that he actually is just a part of the freaking family and it's like all the families messed the frig up. No, I can't, I can't do that. So I have to believe that the magician, the one that actually taught the spells is involved with this. Excuse me. I can even spin off and just say that maybe she was created for this sister. I guess Darkwell could have a wife, but I doubt it. <laughs> Or can do. It's like, I doubt it. But it's like, let's just say that maybe he does have a sister. And his sister also dabbles with magic. And his sister is the one that taught Goldie all the spells and stuff. That makes sense. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Or it's like, oh, that's that's interesting. Uh, let's see. Anything else? I think that's it. But as for the whole thing of the future of her. Well, <clears throat> that's one thing messed up. The future of any of the dummies we ever meet will never be done again. Yes, Dennis will never show up again. Rocky will never show up again. Uh, Mary Ellen is destroyed. <laughs> Mr. Wood is destroyed. Wally is somewhere out in the world, basically with Jimmy O. James. No idea if he's getting tortured or I don't know. <laughs> Snappy is in California. We're not going to get a follow up to that. It just equals to the point of where it's like, I understand that Slappy makes Goosebumps universe go round, especially in Slappy world, but I, like I said in another video, I would prefer actually hearing Slappy critique the dummies, you know? It's like, he's just critiquing like, ah, oh, man, my brother. Oh, I love Snappy so much. Look how he does things. Look how cool he is. Look how awesome. And then you have Mr. Wood or Wally. I don't know. And he's like, oh, these both suck. They suck so much. Man, I could do better than that. Why in the world did you think of doing that? Are you so stupid? It's like, he'll just insult them. You have Goldie, and Goldie's getting, I don't know. I thought Goldie was supposed to be appreciated, appreciated, but Slappy turned into a freaking rat. So I don't know what he's going to do when it comes to she gets a book. But it's like, that's what could have happened. It's just a cool thing of where it's like, you don't have to have Slappy in every single book. You can have Slappy critiquing or mocking a dummy in a dummy book. I mean, it's it's a good slice of everything. But we never going to get that, huh? I don't think we're going to get that. Not unless we're going to have a whole second half where it's like, Arl Stein listened to you and he's going to do it. And it's like, why is he listening to me? <laughs> That's the dumbest idea in the world except for some good ideas. But I'm like, don't listen to me all the way to the end. Like, yeah, don't listen to me all the way. It's like, yeah, there's just some things where it's like, it's just fun to think about. 
and others that's like you should definitely focus on it like abominable snowman should have had a sequel and most wanted resurrect most wanted and give everyone who's a freaking monster their own freaking stuff come on man do it <laughs> anyways that's all I, I thought that's all we need to talk about so yeah have a scary day have a scary night and tell me what you guys think about this theory down below